what you're about to see is the best and the only way that you need to be practicing single strokes ever. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Drumio. There's a lot of really cool things happening over at Drumio HQ. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that in a minute, but as for now, welcome to today's lesson. I'm your sticking coach, Flamuel L. Jackson. If you got goals this year regarding hand development, this is the video that you need to see because I'm gonna show you the most practical, best way to practice your single strokes ever. So grab your sticks, grab your practice pad if you're not in front of it already, and follow along. So we're heading into another full year of growth on the drums. I'm sure a lot of y'all got some personal goals that you want to hit this year. There are two surefire ways to guarantee your success on the instrument this year. Number one, subscribe to this channel. Number two is to become a Drumio Edge member. The folks at Drumio are constantly working on bigger and better ways to help you improve on your instrument. And there's been a huge new feature just added to the Drumio Edge membership. I don't know how they did this, but 5,000 new songs have been added to the Play Along library. But that's not even the coolest part. The coolest part is this. You now have the option with the click of a button to remove the drums from your favorite song. Playing along to your favorite tunes has always been the best, most effective, and most fun way to learn how to play the drums. That's all I did for my first three years. Now with this new feature on Drumio, you can find your favorite tune, pick the drumless track. There's also a full transcription of the original drum track that you can follow along with. For those of y'all that know how to sight read, that ain't me. But for those that can, it's there for you. Choosing a song that you're interested in is super easy. You can either just use the search bar if you're feeling lucky, or you can take advantage of the drop down menus that allow you to choose your skill level, the genre that you want to play, or the artist that you want to look up. So there's never been a better time to become a Drumio Edge member. If it's something that you've been on the fence about up until now, guess what? They've created an exclusive 30 day free trial membership just for you guys for being fans of this channel. All you gotta do is click that link in the description box. That'll take you over to my landing page. Two clicks, boom, boom, you're in. You can try all of these features out for free for 30 days. So that's it for today's announcements. Let's get back to the lesson. So one of the absolute best exercises for developing and maintaining your hands is just your basic government issue single stroke but just throwing your hands all over the pad without any sense of direction is kind of pointless. The best way to practice your single strokes, two things. Number one, add accents. Number two, move those accents around. That is the best way to practice the single strokes according to how you're gonna be using them on the kit. Anything other than that, you're just gonna be spinning your wheels. All right, so this is all you're gonna do. All right, this is super simple. It's a 16th note exercise. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna accent a different 16th note each time, right? So if we got one E and a, uh, first we're gonna accent the one, then the E, then the and, then the a, uh, all right? It's as simple as that. So if you're playing your 16ths like this, right? We're gonna start with the one. Simple as that. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, and a three, and a four, and a one. So just accent the quarter. Okay? Now, with each exercise, we're just gonna take that accent and we're gonna move it over a 16th note. What this does is it also flips the exercise so now you get to work out the left hand as well. So, let's get some time. That's 110. 
beats per minute. Let me start with the first one again. Okay, and we're just gonna play sixteenths. We're gonna accent that quarter note pulse. One, two, three, and ah. Uh. That's the first one. The next one is gonna be the next one over. So one E is what we're gonna do this time. One, two, three, four. All right, next one, you guessed it. Gonna move it over one more. So we're back to the right hand. One, two, three, four. which incidentally is the train beat, for those that are curious. One, two, three, four. Like that, and then move it over to the last one. That sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And that's it, man. That's all you gotta do. So, what I like to do with this exercise is I like to go two bars at a time, basically is what it sounds like. So, um, we start at the top with the quarter and then we just, every two bars, we move them over. So that sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Now, the second way that you're going to do this is the exact same thing, but this time you're going to accent two at a time, okay? So the first two, and the second two, and then the third two, and so on. So basically what that sounds like is this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Just like that. And then from there, you're gonna do the exact same thing as before. So you're gonna take those two, and each time you're gonna move them over by a 16th note, okay? So let me show you what that sounds like. I'm just gonna play through each one of them back to back. Slow it down a bit. One, two, three, four. All right, and that is all there is to it. Now there are two very important things that we're trying to develop when we do these exercises. Number one is the physical mechanic of playing these softer notes and the accents. Like you see my hands, what I'm doing when I'm playing the accents is dropping my wrist, um, and then I'm also using the tip to play the quieter notes, right? So I get this sort of seesaw kind of rocking motion. So you can see my, my wrist kind of dropping below. That is a super important mechanic when it comes to playing on the hats and when it comes to playing your snare drum. If you were playing this thing on the snare, then typically your accents would be played as rim shots on the snare, right? And then the other thing that we're trying to develop, of course, is musicality. Accents add musicality 
to whatever it is that you're playing. So when it comes time to start playing those cool licks on the snare drum, that type of thing, that all comes from doing these exercises, okay? Essentially, you're playing an accent on every 16th, eventually, right? So you're gonna have those mechanics, you're gonna have the muscle memory develop, so that when you go to play it on the snare, it's gonna feel like butter. So that's it. That is the best and only way that you need to practice and maintain your single strokes. So, if you wanna challenge yourself, I challenge you to do so. Pick a start date and do this every day or as often as you can for 12 weeks. Just commit to doing it for 12 weeks. I guarantee you, you're gonna see some crazy results by the time you jump on the kit. So that's that, man. Have some fun with it. But before you go, I know you've been checking out this hoodie the entire time. This is the new tradition hoodie. We got a new year, we got a new merch shop, and it's full of new gear. This is the new version of the tradition hoodie. Boom, has stripes on the arm. This is how you can tell. This is one of the new ones. Hit the link in the description box. Do me a favor, go on, grab your three of these, stop messing around. Thanks for watching this video. Share it if you dig it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.